Hey guys, it's Ben, you're watching Headphone Guy 96 and today I'm just going to take a little quick look at Apple's site and the new products that they have out and basically what I think of them all. So to kick things off, let's take a look at the new iPad. So we got the iPad Pro now in two sizes, we got the 9.7 inch and the super size that's 12.9. Take a look at it now, let's pull up the tech specs, 12.9, alright. So it is a three inch size difference and you got the rose gold color in the smaller iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And Wi-Fi models starts at 32, goes to 256. Cellular models, you got 32 to 256 in the smaller size and 128, 256 in the larger size. Now, comparing this 9.7 inch iPad Pro with the Air 2. And now I went to Best Buy and I actually took a look at the Air 2 and the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. And to be honest with you, it's not worth the $200 price difference overall. So let's take a look and see exactly why it's not worth that. Now, height, width, depth, weight, it's all the same. The screen is exactly the same. The only thing I'll say is that the PPI is exactly the same. However, you do get that true tone display which kind of adjusts to the light in the room which is nice but it doesn't really do that much for you having them side by side and looking at them it's, i mean the anti-reflective coating is slightly better slightly better it's, it's marginally better on the 9.7 inch ipad pro but it's not justifiable at 200 dollars more neither is the a9x chip with the m9 coprocessor it's not that much faster where you're gonna notice crazy speed difference overall the one thing that you will see that is better is the camera on the back i don't take photos with the ipad i'm sure there's a cult following for that but i just don't do it so it's not worth it for me and then you get that 4k video recording but the issue with that is starting off at 32 gigabytes and jumping up an extra 150 dollars for that 128 gigabyte model i mean you're paying $750 for like a specked out iPad Air 2 with a nice camera, a little bit better display, and that rose gold color option if you really want it. So jumping up to that $749, that's a it's almost a $400 difference, which is crazy to think about. And it's just it's outrageous. The the prices are outrageous. If the entry level iPad Pro 9.7 inch was 128 gigabytes that'd be a much much better deal so that that 128 gigabytes at 749 man it's just not it's not worth it so that's my opinion on the ipad don't buy it get an air 2 in fact get one in open box at best buy you'll save 50 bucks and they're just as good as a new model if not you know you just save tax and maybe a few extra bucks but you do save tax so that's nice. Mini 4 is staying the same. The iPad line is pretty much staying where it is as of that. iPhone 5SE. Don't buy it. Why? Because it's just a specked out iPhone 5S. That's all it is with the rose gold color option. It's pointless. It's absolutely pointless. This phone right here that you're looking at right now is not a big step for small whatsoever. It is... So when I look at this, I think of the Apple event where they went over Liam, which disassembles iPhone 5s, 5Ss. I'm not 100% sure the 6 and the 6S range, but I know it disassembles some of the older iPhones like the 5 and the 5Ss. So basically the way I look at this is that fancy little brick is just reused parts on the inside and a new processor and a new camera and then, you know, a few new things, but it's honestly Apple reusing parts more than likely one of the reasons they designed that machine Liam takes apart phones and reuses parts so maybe they're using it in refurbs but you can't see inside the thing so how do you really know they're not just reusing parts and just making a higher margin on the phone because it is cheaper So that's my thoughts on this guy right here and then Let's take a look at the Apple Watch. Drop that $349 price point to the, three, to the 300 
and this becomes a good value but again Apple disappointing I, here I'm looking at that satin gold sport and the band the band's nice with the nylon and I'll pay $50 for it but man they just don't offer it if you go down here and you look at let's see here watch bands right here on the Apple watch page you can go down to the sport band here and you can scroll through the colors but you'll notice none of the pins match the matte gold so that's a bummer and same thing with the woven nylon it's just there's nothing there absolutely nothing except for that black one at the end which will match the black sport but it won't match the gold sport same thing with the classic buckle same thing with the milanese loop and that's why so many other third-party accessories have that gold option that's why they fly off the shelf because there's an option there so that's pretty much my entire opinion on all three of the major products that Apple updated at their latest Apple event. It really was a disappointment. I can't think of the last time Apple released a product that's been exciting. It's just absolute, it's not complete garbage, but you know, it's just it's not enough to justify going out and spending the money on this type of stuff because it's expensive let's face it a lot of people are going to take a look at that ipad air 2 and the ipad pro and they're going to be like okay camera okay processor is it really that much faster no not really and the screen uh, is it that much better not really and they're going to be like i'd rather just save the extra 200 bucks the fact remains is the verge did a fantastic review on the ipad air 2 in retrospect with the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. I'll link that in the description. Go take a look at it because it's probably one of the best reviews that The Verge has done in a long time and that's <laughs> that's saying a lot. So take a look at that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section and like the video, please. I appreciate it. Always helps the channel and always stay subscribed because you guys are the people who make it happen. My loyal subscribers, loyal subscribers. And that's pretty much it here. So massive power in a minimal form. I don't think so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.